Tonight, the big walnut community wrapped its arms around one of its own. Last Friday, 11-year-old Kenny Zedeker was hit by a float during a homecoming parade. Now he's on the long road to recovery. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. 10 TV's Richard Solomon spent the evening at a vigil for Kenny. He explains why this gesture means the world to his family. Yolanda Andrew, Kenny Zedeker has a long road ahead of him. Tonight, he's still in the hospital, but his big walnut community is making sure he knows he is not alone in this fight. In our darkest moments, all that's needed is someone close. Right now is Kenny's darkest moment. I just want my little boy to keep fighting. I just want him to keep fighting every day. His mother, Amanda Stepp, says right by his side is the big walnut community. You know, I need this right now. He needs this right now. On Wednesday, his family and friends wrap their arms around him to lift him up in prayer. If you're broken hearted, the Lord is close. Steph says it's been this way ever since Kenny was severely injured after he was hit by a float during the high school homecoming parade. He suffered several facial bone fractures, a pelvic fracture, and broken ribs, as well as other injuries. But it's the scariest phone call You'll, you, can, you just can't even imagine. I wouldn't want anybody to imagine that. But his community praying for a miracle. Well, I mean, we, we believe that God is capable of healing. Um, he created, he can heal, he can do all things. Andrew Schultz is the lead pastor at City North Church. People who are helping out don't really know the family, but we care about the family. We want what's best for them. Um, that we want them to know in the season that they're not alone. Kenny's darkest moment may last for some time, but every step of the way, they'll be by his side. And that gives Amanda. I just want my little boy to keep fighting. I just want him to keep fighting every day. The hope she needs. He will. He's came this far, so ain't nothing gonna hold him down now, I don't think so. And I am told Kenny has another surgery in the morning. His family, nor his community, leaving his side. Of course, we will continue to keep you updated on his condition once we learn more. For now, reporting in Sunbury, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon.